Yes, of course. Um, in innovation studies, uh, it's been always a challenge to model the different processes that take place uh, in order to generate an innovative uh, environment. And uh, the triple helix is one of these models that's, that tries to capture the interactions between different uh, innovation stakeholders. And it is um, a different from other models uh, by bringing the university as a key actor in innovation on an equal footing with industry and government. So uh, we are talking about triple helix interactions in the sense of university, industry, government partnerships that generate innovation through this uh, synergy. Um, university is actually going through this transition from being an education and research institution to becoming an institution involved in uh, research commercialization, regional economic development, and generally speaking, becoming more active in meeting societal needs and contributing to uh, regional development and um, renewal of the regional landscape, especially in declining regions. Uh, that is what makes the so-called university third mission. And today we regard the university, especially this entrepreneurial university, as uh, an institution that operates through three functions, the educa education, research and entrepreneurship. The university can benefit from this interaction with industry in many ways. Um, first, at the level of academic researchers. They get um, many new ideas for their research from the real needs of companies uh, serving uh, in their local community, and they can better meet the knowledge needs of these companies. You can add to that the research dollars, as they are called, you know, the research funding that comes from the joint project, which allows academics to equip their labs to employ students as teaching assistants or research assistants. Then at the level of students, um, students can have internships in these companies. They can have better exposure to company life. They can get employment after they graduate because they already have the networks and the connections. They have a different mindset when they have these uh, uh, development stages in companies and they they get a, a different uh, set of skills you know just by interacting differently with uh, with companies then there are benefits for the local community because in many cases um, one product of this interaction is um, spin-offs technology spin-offs or non-technology spin-offs and they they can once created they can contribute to the local economy through taxes they create jobs they can restructure the fabric of the region in terms of um, technology assets uh, skills experience you know uh, this kind of uh, benefits that come with it <laughs>